Welcome back everyone, hope your day has been going well. In today's News Daily video, I have two stories to break down and discuss today. Hear the latest news involving Benfica's Dara Nunes. I'm going to break down the story as well as provide you guys a player profile to give you an explanation behind his game and how potentially he could work and fit in a Thomas Tuchel system. So of course you guys get involved in the comments, smash that like button. But before we get into anything, I want to get one big plug out of the way first. Today's video is brought to you by Profit Accumulator. Now I'm going to ask you guys a question. Is it possible to give your money to a bookie without actually gambling? Yes, it really is. And that's because Profit Accumulator use something called match betting. Now what separates match betting compared to the standard type of betting is that match betting essentially uses bookmaker offers against each other. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, you know, these crazy sign up offers for bookies, you know, uh, come in with £50, get an extra free £50 to play with, etc, etc. Using Profit Accumulator, you can find and compare these offers in seconds. And I guess it's no surprise that over 150,000 people have actually signed up to the website and it has provided a great, reliable and resourceful side income for many, many people due to the ability to create a steady profit using these methods. And, and I'm really stressing and focusing on the word steady profit. Now, if any of you guys are interested behind how exactly this works, now with Profit Accumulator, there is an amazing opportunity now to sign up to a free trial, learn how the website works, and of course, get a deep understanding based on the great tutorials that they already have live on their website. So what you guys are waiting for, great opportunity here. You'll find a link below in the description. Right now, you guys, we move on to the final big story today, and let's hear the latest news surrounding Dara Nunes. Now, reports coming out from The Athletic, as well as reports from Portugal, suggest that us, passenger man and Man United are showing big, concrete interest in Benfica's Dara Nunes. Currently, the season he scored 31 goals in 36 games, but it seems like Benfica are definitely ready to cash in and sell. Now, interestingly enough, they could have sold Nunes in January. We know that West Ham made a big bid to sign him. I think they put in 42 million. However, they were still 8 million short. And Nunes wasn't really as excited to sign for West Ham. He wants to sign for a club that has Champions League ambitions. So this is where the big boys come into place. And it's no surprise that his stock has continued to rise and rise and rise, putting in many incredible performances in Europe, scoring goals against Barcelona, recently against Liverpool, Ajax, etc, etc. And for me personally, you know, being able to translate your domestic form at the highest level in European football really gives you a strong indication behind whether a player can step up and could be greater than the sum of his parts. So it's interesting news, you guys. Currently, it seems like Benfica have slapped on a 70 million valuation for the player. I don't know if that's actually euros or pounds, uh, potentially euros, because it does seem like they want 20 mil more to be able to sell the player compared to what originally they would have sold him for back in January. So the fact that we could see some attacking changes at the top in the next summer window, the features of Lukaku, uh, Timo Werner, Pulisic all being in doubt. I guess, is it any surprise that we'd be linked currently with a player like Nunes? So right now, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions, giving you guys a player profile behind this game. So right now, I want to discuss the player profile of Dara Nunes. I want to start with things by saying that, for me, strikers must complement how a team plays. That's how the most successful strikers are able to perform and bang in the goals that all us fans want to see. They are literally the cherry on the cake. And... For me, I do feel like this has been the main issue that is really stopping us from going to that next level. With Timo Werner, we saw in the first season that his pace in behind, his ability to stretch defensive lines and cause havoc in those areas really benefited your mounts and Havertz's even more. However, due to the fact that his finishing price isn't of the highest level and the fact that he had other technical difficulties in this game as well too, meant that he wasn't the most reliable forward for Tuchel to plan and build an attack round. This is where you thought Lukaku would be literally an even bigger icing on the cake for the team. Not only was he an incredible scorer, not needing many chances to get goals, great finishing technique as well too, having the ability to stretch defensive lines as well, but he had that physical prowess on top to be able to pin back defenders and potentially bring in even more teammates into the final third. However, we found out that if he doesn't get quick distribution and service to his feet, 
If his runs aren't found and if he doesn't have many players to play off of and around him, his limits can be very limiting. So I guess on paper, this is where Dara Nunes could be of particular interest to Thomas Tuchel based on the fact that he does share some of the best qualities that Tuchel would like to have and afford in the team. Now I'm not saying that he is like the definition of a fusion between Timo Werner and Lukaku, but he does have many, many interesting skill sets in this game. Now for me, he has that movement in behind that you definitely want to see. Nunes, as you can see on screen, is able to play up front, down the left, and as a cam as well too. And I think one of the reasons behind why he's able to translate his game across many positions to a very good degree where you know, he's still scoring a healthy amount of goals no matter what position he's playing in, it comes down to this guy's movement in behind. I mean, Nunes, of course, he can be that focal point at times, but he is a striker that is very comfortable roaming across the entire final third. A lot of times you'll find him isolated on the left-hand side, trying to, you know, pin back a fullback, trying to run in the space between the defender and the fullback. Whilst at the same time, he can drop deeper as well too. He can play off with the front man. He can link up with teammates in the final third. And he has that ability to know how to lose a man by either pinning him back and spinning him behind or diverting his runs and literally just running one way and then quickly accelerating in the other direction. Uh, for me, he I don't know what it is about these Uruguayan players and these Uruguayan strikers, you know, Suarez and Cavani have incredible movement, like this, uh, this, this willingness to constantly be on the move to find spaces to exploit. And for me, Nunes definitely has that same factor in his game and I think that's what makes him so formidable because on top of this he combines this with excellent shooting technique. Now for me with the top forwards I need to see that he has the ability to score at the highest occasions. I need to see that he has great shooting technique but he doesn't need five or six chances before he gets a goal and I have to see that he has the ability to to create something for himself as well as having that aerial prowess as well too and for me Nunes definitely has that. Um, he has an excellent technique shooting the ball in the laces. And I love that type of finish from a striker, you know, pure power, pure accuracy. Very hard to, for goalkeepers to be able to defend against as well too. And he has that accuracy with his shots. Like some of his trademark goals are at the near post and the far post where he can literally low drive these goals into the bottom corners of the net. We saw this against uh, um, Barcelona recently as well too. He has that in his game. I think one thing that really helps him as well is he is a very powerful player. He has very, very good core strength. He has a very dangerous leap in the air as well. He has very good upper body strength. And I think, you know, as a physical profile, it's no surprise that that running style does get compared a little bit to Erling Haaland based on the fact that they have like long strides when they're running. And this is what makes him so explosive because he's a player that can you know, uh, explode over long distances, as well as having that acceleration to lose his man in short distances as well too. And I guess in a way, like he is like the modern day evolution of target men. I think from times when we were seeing Mandzukic playing as like a, a wide four for Juventus down the left hand side, I guess he was like the start of the modern day target man now where, you know, if you just plan to stay in central positions and wait for the ball to come, you're not going to get any service in the game today. So you need to be able to translate that by being able to, you know, play across the final third. And, you know, Nunes on the left, from up front and from behind, he brings in a consistent danger no matter what position he's playing in. And I think this is where he could combine his skill set alongside a Havertz and a Mason Mount. I guess in my head, I'd see Havertz playing as the false nine up front. I see Mount on the right hand side and I see Nunes on that left hand side as well too. Um, you know, I think we have to look at players now that can complement how the rest of the players can play in the final third. So far only Havertz and Mount have shown that they are able to play to Tuchel's demands. They profited off certain skill sets of both Lukaku and Werner. However, I think if you have a player that can kind of combine both of them, then I think that could make how we play in the final thirds even more dangerous. Um, you know, of course, he isn't the most uh, complete player. Uh, if you're expecting things like a perfect first touch in every situation without fail, if you're expecting him to be able to like dribble past three, four players with like exquisite skill uh, and, and like flair, then that is not the player. I still feel that we need to sign a 1v1 King and Maestro on 100%. However, if Avana is leaving, 
if Lukaku potentially could be leaving as well too, then I, I really feel like Nunes could be that two cool option that combines some of the best abilities of both these guys and could be very useful and beneficial for this team. This season for me, I think he's definitely improved in his link up play and hold up play. I think he starts to improve his back to play goal. I think in the Premier League, you know, defenders know how to pin their strikers back. He will have to work on that skill set even more and he will naturally have to adapt to the demands of the Premier League. But I do think that Nunes has the ability to be able to actually make those adjustments. He can improve in those areas. So that's, he's only 22 years old. He's not the finalized option at this point in time. But I think as we're seeing with other players now, playing under Tuchel with like-minded players around him, I think he could definitely grow and grow as the seasons went on. The fact he is able to play between the lines, that he's able to find positions between the lines and then accelerate forwards and look for spaces to exploit, that would be beneficial if you have a Kai Havertz dropping deeper allowing you to have a Mount or a Nunes running in behind. Like I said, he can play central, he can drift to the wide, he can uh, play off of his man as well too. Uh, I think this guy has a lot of promise. It's no surprise to me that his stock has risen. It's no surprise that a lot of big players have said some very interesting things about him. But naturally, of course, it brings up discussions of a broger. Um, is it possible that both of them could be part of the squad for next season? Potentially, but even though Bro just showed incredible promise, I still think that there have been games this season for Southampton where it's told me that he could definitely benefit and actually would benefit more getting game time week in, week out. Of course, when you come to play for Chelsea right now, you are going to be competing alongside your Kai's, Mounts and other players to, you know, uh, secure a position in a very highly contested area of our game. You can't make any mistakes. And the moment you do that, you might not be in the game the next week that sub appearance might not be falling to you, that could fall to someone else. And I think considering we don't know whether Lukaku, for example, may go or could even stay for next season at this point in time, we don't know. I feel like due to the contract Broja signs, one more season out online would really benefit him even more and would put him in an even better place to secure a long-term place in the team where he's actually able to be a first-team contender. I think that's how we have to see these guys. I don't think at this point in time, if he was to come back, he would necessarily be that first team ready calibre player in the team. But again, you know, this guy has a lot of promise, is a very exciting player too, and is definitely one that has a future at this club at some capacity in the future, in my opinion. But I think Nunes, considering that Werner most likely has definitely gone and now that maybe Pulisic could leave as well too. Someone like him, that is able to play in so many different capacities could be of use to the team. And for me, this guy, most importantly, is a finisher. You know, I think sometimes we have to let strikers be strikers. You know, we have to maximize their skill sets. Let's not focus all the time on, you know, if they have to be like super incredible technicians of the ball. There aren't many strikers like that in world football. And the ones you're thinking of, they are literally a handful compared to what's out there currently at this point in time. So that's my thoughts and opinions behind the news and on Nunes in particular. I think this guy is very interesting and I think he definitely could work with how Tuchel wants the team to play going into the future. So you guys, on that note, I'm going to wrap things up, keep things moving. I'm the EFC. This is Blue Lions CV. I'll catch you guys later with some more videos. Cool.